three words which could reduce burns or even save a life. Owens goes on fire there, so he stops himself, he doesn't panic, drops to the floor, and what he's just doing, not flat, and he could have rolled over, roll to me. Southcott Primary School in Leighton Buzzard in Bedfordshire. With Halloween approaching, a special lesson from the fire brigade. It's called smothering. It takes the air away, okay, and it puts the fire out. Growing concerns over the flammability of some fancy dress outfits means this aspect of fire safety is being given greater emphasis. We don't want to scare the children at the same time, so we make it simple and stop, drop and roll. So in the event of any of their clothing that catches fire, while they've been entertaining or going trick-or-treating, then the parents and children know exactly what to do. Obviously, we can't say to children, don't go out trick-or-treating. Um, I think it's really just making children think first, um, thinking of the safety. I mean, they understand the safety of going out um, with an adult, so the strange danger safety is coming across very clear, and now it's just trying to make sure the fire safety message is coming across clearly as well. If you go trick-or-treating at Halloween, what are you going to be thinking about? What are you going to be really careful about? Fire. But help you from stop burning yourself. What was the most important thing you learnt from, from fire? Um, probably stop, drop, roll. It is a worst case scenario. The chances are it won't happen. But if it does, the message is clear. Stop, drop and roll. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Now you may 